Hey there, this is Adam Lane from PocketNow, and I've got GDR3 for Windows Phone 8 installed on this Nokia Lumia 925 right here, and we're going to take a look at what's new with this operating system update. Before we start, if you want to learn how to install this on your own Windows Phone 8, uh, search PocketNow for how to install Windows Phone 8 GDR3, and you'll see some instructions. So let's check it out. First, I want to show you my favorite new feature. So let's go to the settings. And uh, right now you can see that the internet sharing mode is turned off. But over here on my tablet, let's just put the phone right there. If I go to settings, we have, um, I paired this phone with my Surface tablet uh, via Bluetooth. See that Bluetooth right there? So it's got a Bluetooth connection. It's not connected right now, but say I go into the settings and then the network, the wireless networking net icon right there, and we see the Lumia 925 shows up. So let's connect. And it's going to take a little bit. And you can see over there, it has automatically turned on the internet sharing on my phone. So, and now we're connected to it. It's limited right now, but it'll be internet access in a second. So you can imagine maybe the phone is sitting on the charger somewhere or maybe it's in your pocket. You can start up a Windows 8.1 tablet and very easily uh, just access the internet without having to take the phone out or turning on that internet sharing feature. Next I want to look at some new ease of access features. So if we go into the settings here we can turn on mobile accessibility. And what this does, you gotta uh, download a new app that uh, enables us and then we restart the phone and it'll have a speech interface for you know, all sorts of other things that aren't normally part of the operating system. So I'm going to show you the app. This is what launches after you do the restart. Warning. Mobile accessibility will not be able to phone one of seven. So this is a new interface. And it's designed so you can use it without looking at the screen. So we have gestures. Contacts two of seven. I do a right gesture. Messaging and it, three of seven. It moves to the next item. Email four of seven. Web 5 of 7. And then you can double tap anywhere Downloading page. to activate that tap item. To open the address bar. And it's telling me all the time what to do. Page has one quick menu. Address bar. Keyboard open. Lowercase mode. Adr w delete M enter dot entered. O entered. C enter K entered. E entered. T and N entered. And entered. Uh -huh. W entered. W del and deleted. Now, if you're blind, using this keyboard might be difficult. So, uh, the way to do it is to uh, hold y. your finger down. U. O. O entered. And then let go. So we do it like this. G F. W. W entered. H. Dot com. Dot com entered. Downloading page. So you can imagine. Triple tap to open the address bar. If you can't see the screen. Page has two frames, two headings, <laughs> 127 elements, and 65 links. You can get. No bar smartphone and tablet reviews, video, editorial, and news. This page link menu. Link. This page link search. Heading level two hottest stories. List with eight items. Link image fablet underscore so starts uh, reading the web page for me. Underscore zero one underscore zero seventy two a twelve forty point jpg microsoft windows phone eight gdr three update detailed. Link image h link image windows phone eight underscore gdr three so underscore up link image h link image fifteen thirty four to navigate zero six dash seven downloading right. page. Let's get out of there. Now driving mode is another new feature. Let's check that out. 
And what's interesting about this, you know, the idea is to make it safer uh, for driving. It's going to ignore calls and right here you can turn that on, ignore calls or ignore texts. And you, you can make it automatically reply uh, with a pre-written message that you can type right here. And that would be great, but you can't turn this on unless you pair it with a specific Bluetooth device. And what's interesting is, if I have a Bluetooth device, I don't need to ignore calls and text messages with Windows Phone because it's able to read those messages to me and I can reply with the speech recognition software and it's all very easy to uh, you know, handle without taking your eyes off the road. So I can set my motorcycle helmet as a driving mode enabled device and whenever I connect that it's gonna do the call ignoring and text message reply thing but I wouldn't do that because <laughs> I can actually use it when I have a Bluetooth device. I kind of wish I could manually turn this on when I'm in a car without a Bluetooth device because that's when I would actually need to use it. Anyway, we also have some custom ringtone and sound upgrades. You can now choose custom uh, sound effects for your text messages and whatnot in addition to the ringtones, but previously it was just the ringtones. And if you open a contact and you go to edit that contact, you also have a new option here, text tone. So I can set a specific tone when that person uh, text messages me. So let's choose that one. Uh, ringtone was always there, so you can always specify a specific ringtone for each person. There's a new item, screen rotation. You can turn it on and off. Uh, this will lock it in whatever position you are currently in. So now it's locked in landscape mode. But that doesn't really work. See, if I tilt it this way, it does not switch. However, some parts do not support landscape mode, so you're kind of, it's gonna switch anyway. The phone storage uh, control panel settings area also has been updated. Here we can tap the phone and now you can see a whole breakdown of what is using how much space on your phone. And all the way at the bottom we have temporary files and you can delete them. Nice uh, delete button there. So you can free up some space by deleting temporary files, finally. And lastly the new task switching interface we now have a little X in the corner of each thing that you've opened recently and you can close them like so. It's not really necessary to close these I, because you know Windows Phone manages the memory on these very well. The only real reason is it's these are recently used applications so you just want to get rid of them I guess. There's a few other features that GDR3 brings, but we can't show you them on this device because they require new hardware. For example, it will bring support for larger screens with a 1080p resolution, and you'll have a, another column of live tiles there, you know, much larger, and it'll support some new quad-core processors as well. So that's a quick look at Windows Phone 8 with GDR3. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.